Hello, my dear students. So, let us continue with uh, the cloud computing. The Titans means the organizations which are offering cloud computing services to us. Already, we have discussed about Google, ENC, NetApp, and in my last class, I discussed about uh, what type of uh, uh, services are offered by uh, Amazon as well as Microsoft. Today we will discuss about the salesforce.com and also the IBM uh, which are actually providing us the solutions for the cloud computing. So salesforce.com made its name with the success of its flagship uh, salesforce.com automation application. So we have an automation application with the salesforce.com. Okay, so it got success with that and later on it has uh, um, moved towards the cloud and it has the three major areas where it actually focuses the ones is a sales co uh, the three major areas include the sales cloud service cloud and your cloud the sales cloud is actually the popular cloud computing sales applications the service cloud which offers you the customer service and lets the companies uh, directly tap into the power of customer conversations no matter where they take place means what are the type of customer service the customer relationship management they can actually develop using this service cloud and your cloud which is actually used to develop the custom application on its cloud computing platform with uh, all the powerful capabilities which are offered by the salesforce.com uh, uh, under its force.com the companies made its platform available to the other companies as a place to build up their deploy their software services. Means what the Salesforce.com is doing here is it is providing is uh, uh, its platform on which the other companies can build up their own applications and uh, they can deploy their software services. The Force.com uh, offers you the relational databases. Okay, the user interface options, the business logics, Apex, an integrated development environment, workflow and approval engines, programmable interfaces, automatic mobile device de de uh, deployment, web service integration, and report and analytics. So these are all the uh, services which are offered by the force.com under salesforce.com. So where the database is available for you, the interface design is also uh, 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 means you can design your interfaces, you can develop your business logic, and you can have your workflow and the approvals engine where you can approve the various workflows, and you can uh, uh, generate web services integration where you can integrate the applications as well as reporting and analytics. So under using this Apex, uh, programmers can uh, test their applications in the Force.com sandboxes and then offer the finalized flows on the Force.com site. So what is this uh, uh, Apex? Using this Apex, uh, using programmers can uh, test their applications on their uh, uh, force.com sandbox. Sandbox in the sense here, an isolated environment where you can test your application without disturbing other applications. Means if any kind of uh, error happens, so it is just isolated to the area where actually uh, um, it has been tested. So such type of testing can be uh, done by the force.com sandboxes and uh, uh, and then offer the finalized code on the salesforce.com site. Developers initially used uh, this uh, salesforce.com to create add-ons to the salesforce to CRM, but now it is possible to develop applications that are unrelated to salesforce offering them. So initially, uh, the salesforce force they used this force.com to develop uh, the uh, add-ons to the uh, Salesforce CRM, the customer relationship management. As I just told you, that services environment, will, uh, service cloud is there where it lets the companies to tap into the power of customer conversation. So it is possible using this add ons, I means adding uh, the Salesforce.CRM, but later on we can develop the applications which are unrelated to the Salesforce.com. Okay, Salesforce.com uh, is into other areas of cloud computing as well. So uh, it moved towards the enterprise content management uh, with salesforce.com. This makes it possible to store, clarify, and share the information in manner simpler, similar to the Microsoft SharePoint. So in the previous class, we discussed about the SharePoint, uh, Microsoft SharePoint, where you can share the information. So likewise, using this micro salesforce.com content management, 
uh, what you can do here is you can store, clarify, uh, classify and share the information in the same manner. And the company offers you employs a multi-tenant architecture which is similar to Google, Amazon and eBay. Okay, so a multi-tenant architecture where uh, servers and other resources are shared by the customers rather than giving to a single account. I mean, in this multi-tenant environment, so the servers and the resources are shared by the customer. Different customers can share their uh, uh, the resources which are available. Uh, means rather giving uh, all the entire server or the entire application to uh, a single customer, they can be shared among the various uh, um, uh, customers. Various, the, the, those resources can be shared among the various customers. It allows for better performance, better scalability, better security, and faster innovation through an automatic upgrades there. So because of this uh, automatic upgrades, you can have a better performance and scalability, security, and faster innovations. So multi-tenancy allows uh, apps to be elastic. They can scale up ten thousands of users or down to few. Okay, always to consider when moving to the cloud-based solution. So the scalability is also possible for, as where you can scale up and scale down as per the requirement. Okay, uh, as with the other providers, upgrades are taken by care of Salesforce.com for their customers. So apps get security and performance enhancements automatically. So here. The apps uh, actually get security and performance enhancements automatically. Automatically. Next, uh, here the force.com. So let us uh, know more about the force.com. So force.com is an uh, Salesforce.com on-demand computing platform. So it is an on-demand computing platform uh, which is built by Salesforce.com as the world's first PAS, the platform as a service there. So here it features Visual Force, a technology that makes it much simpler to end customers, developers, and independent software vendors to design almost any type of cloud application for a wide range of users. So this Force.com offers you Visual Force. Means Visual Force is actually a technology here, where you can uh, see where it actually provides you a simpler uh, environment for the developers, customers, and the independent software vendors, ISVs, to develop any kind of cloud solution, any kind of cloud application for any wide range of users. The Force.com platform offers global infrastructure and services for database, logic, workflow integration, user interface, and application exchange. So what you can do here is uh, the Post.com platform offers you the global infrastructure and common global infrastructure and services for databases, logic, workflow, integration, user interfaces, and application exchange. So Visual Source uh, Force is essentially a framework for creating new interface designs. So it is essentially a framework for creating a new interface designs. So what you can do here is uh, you can uh, design, you can create a new design and which can enable the user interactions that can be built and delivered with no software and soft hardware infrastructure requirements. So without extra software and hardware infrastructure requirements, they can be developed. So Post.com delivers PAS services to create and deploy business applications that allow companies and developers to focus on their applications do rather than software and infrastructure to run them. So now here, what you can do here, you can simply create and deploy the applica business applications. So, uh, and now the developers can focus on what their application to do. Here, uh, the best advantage for you here is uh, you can develop an application where you can concentrate about what the application will do rather than concentrating on uh, uh, what type of software and infrastructure is required to run them. So the, this uh, Force.com platform can run multiple applications within the same Salesforce.com instance. So one single instance uh, can be used to run multiple applications here, allowing all the companies Salesforce.com applications to share common security model, data model, and user interface. OK, so you have a same Salesforce.com application where uh, the Force.com platform can run multiple applications here. So thus they share, thus they share the common security measures, uh, security model, the data model, and user interface. Means a common type of model is used for all type of applications which are developed under Salesforce.com. Okay, the major the, the, the major benefit is found in the cloud computing solutions. Okay, and 
to the on demand operating system the ability to create any database on demand workflow engines for managing collaborating between the users and a programming language for building the complex logic there. so you can have uh, the on demand os which is available for you uh, its ability to create any database on demand uh, the workflow engine for managing collaborating between the users and programming language for building complex applications okay the website a web service api for programmatic access mashups and integration with other applications and data is also another key features there next visual force so if we talk more about the visual force here as i just said that is a, is a technology where you can develop the application so visual force is a framework for creating interface designs and enable user integrations that can be built uh, uh, built and delivered with no software and hardware uh, requirement so here what you can do here is it is a platform where you can develop your applications okay visual force uses the html and ajax and flex for business applications so it provides a page based and model built upon the standard html and web presentation technologies and is completely complemented with both component library of implementing common user interface elements and controller model for creating new integration between those elements there so what you can do here is this visual force actually uses html and ajax and flex for business applications so it is a page based model like uh, your html so and uh, web presentation technologies and is complemented by by the component library so you are having a component library where you can have the library of functions which can be used to integrate different user interface elements among them so its capabilities includes the pages components and logic controllers so pages enable the design definition of an application user interface so you can design the application user interface then we have the components provides the ability to create new applications that automatically match look and feel of the salesforce.com application easily customize and extend the salesforce.com user interface to a specific requirement so what you can do here is a, you can build up the new applications automatically which actually has the same look and feel means same type of design look and feel is available for all the components of salesforce.com applications and they can be easily customized and extend to the salesforce.com user interface to specific requirements so you can so customize applications and you have a controller that enables customers to build any kind of user interface behavior next uh, about if i talk about the salesforce.com crm uh, so if we talk about the crm here so say it is a leader in cloud computing customer relationship management applications so it consists of sales cloud and service cloud can be broken down into five applications so it has a sales cloud and the service cloud which is uh, uh, divided into the five categories the sales marketing service collaboration and analytics okay and custom applications so if i talk about the sales here easily the most popular cloud computing sales application says that crm sales is used by more than 1.1 million customers around the world so at that time long to uh, 12 years back uh, data if we take that there itself around 1.1 million of customers are using this sales application the salesforce.com crm so it has uh, uh, what you can do here is uh, it is its claim to fame uh, is that it is comprehensive and very easy to customize so the most important part of this is it, it can be easily uh, it is very comprehensive and easily it can be customized so its value is proportional to that empowers the companies to manage people and process more effectively so the representatives can spend more time on selling and less time on administrative tasks so what you can do here is a uh, uh, it empowers uh, the companies to manage people and process more effectively more effective processing is done using, under this application so the representatives can actually concentrate more upon uh, um, more time on selling and uh, selling the uh, selling their products rather than the administrative task then if we talk about the marketing marketers can put the latest web technologies to work building pipeline while collaborating seamlessly with their sales organization the application empowers customers to manage multi channel campaigns and provide up to date messaging to the sales there so uh, you can uh, create the online marketing there you can reach to the customers and you can provide up to date messages to the sales department 
Okay, so because it is integrated with the salesforce.com, CRM sales application, the hands of the leads is automated. So everything is automated here. Then you have the services where uh, the service cloud is a new platform for the customer services. Companies can tap into the power of customer conversation no matter where they take place. So you can reach out to the customers and you can have the customer conversation no matter where it takes place. They can connect uh, to collaborate in real time, share sales information, follow joint processing. Connecting with the partners, it is made easy for connecting with the people on LinkedIn. Companies instantly share leads, opportunities, accounts, and contacts, and tasks with their partners. So what you can do here, you can have collaboration with your partners. You can share that information on LinkedIn. The companies instantly share the leads, opportunities, and accounts, contacts, and tasks with their partners. So next we have the collaboration. The Salesforce.com can help an organization to work more efficiently with the customers, partners, and employees by employing them uh, uh, to collaborate more, uh, collaborate among themselves in the cloud. Some of the capabilities include creating the share and share content in real time using Google Apps and Salesforce.com. So what you can do here is you can have the collaboration with the customers, partners, and employees where you can uh, build up uh, uh, some content regarding creating and sharing the content in real time using the Google Apps and Salesforce.com, track and deliver the presentations using content library, give your community voice idea uh, using ideas on Facebook so you can give your uh, ideas as well as uh, you can tap into the collective wisdom of sales teams with genius. Next, you have the analytics where you can have the reporting and calculations and dashboards. So the business is better to be optimized uh, performance. This means optimize the performance. You can have the better decision making and resource allocation. And you have the custom applications also can be quickly created, leveraging one data model, one sharing model, and one user. So one kind of model is used for creating the applications. OK, they can share the information. Then you have the app exchange. It is a directory of applications. So you have a lot of applications which are built for salesforce.com by the third party developers. So there is a third party developer which has developed an application and they, which has uh, given those applications for uh, the salesforce.com. The users can purchase and add on to their salesforce.com environment. So you can usually just add on those applications that, um, and you can use them in your salesforce.com application. So this app exchange offers you 70 applications at the time in 2008. So there are 750 applications available over 450 ISVs. So more number of ISVs have collaborated and they have developed the application. So in a C, if you observe a um, single uh, window where multiple applications can be placed and they can be used. Okay. And here with uh, app exchange, uh, what you can do here is uh, it can bring potential benefits to the salesforce.com to an entire business, letting them to manage and share all the company's information on demand. This allows uh, uh, using app exchange, companies are able to easily add new applications to their existing applications. So what you can do here is you can add the existing applications. It means in the market, if uh, some applications are available, you can simply use these applications uh, and uh, you can simply use those applications along with you. Means uh, in your salesforce.com app uh, application. Next, uh, here you can have, this allows the de uh, development of applications serving a broad range of business requirements. So right from means you can develop the application serving the broad range means Good scope of uh, business applications can be developed ranging from finance, electronic signatures, project management, document management to data cleansing, okay, professional service management, and human resources. Okay, uh, you will study more about the salesforce.com in the coming chapters also. Then we have the IBM, another very uh, big, big company which is actually offering you the cloud solution here. So IBM offers you cloud computing services to help businesses of all sizes take advantage of this increasingly attractive computing model. So IBM is applying its industry-specific consulting expertise and establishing 
technology record to offer secure services to the companies in public, private, and hybrid cloud models. There. So what the IBM is doing, it is actually offering you the services, offering you the services for any kind of all sizes of business there. So it is applying its industry-specific consulting expertise, means and established technology record to offer services to the companies in public, private, and hybrid clouds. I mean, all type, uh, they offer you services for all type of uh, um, companies in public, private, and hybrid cloud environments. So its features includes industry-specific business consulting services for cloud computing. So what you can do here is, so it can uh, provide you a, an industry-specific consulting services, means any specific uh, uh, type of services are required that can be offered by this IBM Global Business Services. Okay. Uh, the uh, for building private cloud, I mean, means industry specific in the sense private cloud and uh, moving the data and application offsite in public or hybrid cloud model. Then you have the technology consulting, design and implementation services. The IBM cloud technology services offer services to help clients install, configure, and deliver cloud computing inside the data center. Then you have the cloud uh, uh, security spanning IBM systems, software, services, and IBM research and expo post on uh, this effort aim for re-architecting and re designing technologies for, and processes to infuse security and shield against threats and vulnerabilities in the cloud. So cloud security is offered by the uh, uh, IBM spanning from IBM systems, software, services, and IBM research and expos.com. So they are re-architecture, they redesigned their technology, so which infuse the security and shield against the threats. Next, what type of services the IBM is providing for you? So IBM actually uh, uh, provide you uh, services using economic modeling to access total cost of ownership for building, integrating, and building and integrating clouds. So uh, private clouds can be built up using this uh, IBM services. Okay, so initial research indicates that the organization will employ both public and private clouds to achieve the business goal, goals, and IBM can help it, companies to find more effective balance and manage it all in one integrated strategy. Means in the one integrated strategy, in one strategy, it offers you the application where it balances both the public and private clouds there. Means the portion can be kept as public, private and the portion can be kept as public and it offers you various solutions. Then, in addition, in addition, cloud technology, okay, uh, consult, uh, cloud technology consulting services are intended to help clients create roadmaps for reconstructing the IT environments. So with the new compute cloud com implementation services, IBM will uh, apply expert level skills, methods, and guidance on project management techniques to help the clients plan, configure, and test the survey, server, storage, and technologies necessary to support dynamic technology environment. So what the IBM is doing, the IBM will help the expert level skills. Expert level skills here um, provide the guidance and project management techniques to help the clients plan and configure and test the surveys, servers, storage, and technologies necessary to support the dynamic storage environment. So in addition, to consulting services, IBM is helping new clients to move into the cloud. One of the uh, Houston's largest, fastest growing human res services agencies, neighborhood centers. So it is one of the case study which is given here, the neighborhood centers servers over two, um, 200,000 citizens in Southwest Texas and delivers key services, including economic development services, citizenship and immigration services, early childhood development programs, Etc. The non-profit organization depends upon IBM cloud services to backup server and PCs data for distributed environment store and secure offsite. So what you can do here is this neighborhood centers is actually which is offering you various services uh, to the US citizens as uh, depending upon the IBM cloud services to backup their servers means a day time to time you suppose any mishap happens as I told you earlier if any kind of uh, uh, catastrophe conditions come across, so IBM cloud services have the backup of their service or PCs for distributed environments. Okay, then we have 
the security also to ensure the widespread of adoption of cloud computing services ibm initiated a company wide project for unified comprehensive security architecture for cloud computing okay which spans from software system software services and ibm research and expands aim from the architecting just now i told you that it has re architecture and redesigned the technologies for uh, uh, protecting for uh, say, providing security to its system software services okay and ibm research and expands x force uh, arms there okay that is about the ibm briefly next uh, we have the partnerships which are made by the various companies the ahu okay which made the partnerships the sap and ibm then hp intel ahu so all uh, this all are self explanatory so what the companies are doing how they have collaborated with themselves is written you can study that otherwise in on some other class we will discuss so i conclude this chapter today in the next uh, chapter uh, i will uh, discuss about um, the cloud computing technology hardware and infrastructure in my next class okay thank you